that after certain friends of James arrived, he stopped doing this and kept away from them all together for fear of the group that insisted on circumcision. The other Jews joined him in this pretense, and even Barnabas felt himself obliged to copy their behaviour. When I saw they were not respecting the true meaning of the good news, I said to Cephas in front of everyone, In spite of being a Jew, you live like the pagans and not like the Jews, so you have no right to make the pagans copy Jewish ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news. Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Train me, Lord, to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying. And when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us. And do not put us to the test. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may I say to you after that. Please receive it. The feast of Our Lady of the Rosary was inaugurated to celebrate a great victory of the Christian fleet in 1571 over the Ottoman Turk fleet in the Eastern Mediterranean. And the victory was widely attributed to Our Lady's intercession because Catholics um, all over uh, the, the known world, anyway, had been praying the rosary uh, because obviously if that, that would be lost by the Christian fleet. Uh, the Turks would have ended up dominating the whole of the Mediterranean and we certainly wouldn't be enjoying the, well, I suppose nowadays, the limited freedom uh, that we have. So we thank God for um, the gift of prayer, first of all, and we thank God that Jesus himself teaches us how to pray. And it's no accident that in the rosary, the the prayer that starts off each of the decades is the Our Father, the prayer that Jesus himself taught us, and then we have the Hail Mary, which honours the, the Mother of Jesus, but also calls on her intercession to pray for us now and at the hour of our death. There's a wonderful stained glass uh, window in the cathedral that commemorates uh, today's victory in 1571. It shows uh, the Christian fleet triumphant and, and the, the Muslim fleet all in disarray and, and all sinking. Um, it's, it's a stained glass window that's very badly in need of restoration and certainly in the nine years I was at the cathedral I was doing my best to get funds for it. I didn't succeed and perhaps one of the things is that it might be it, it might be seen as being um, anti-Muslim, which it certainly wasn't. It was about it was about religious freedom, certainly in the West, and it was about a sort of militancy that um, Christians themselves had shown during the time of the Crusade, but is certainly not in keeping with the Gospel of Christ and the teachings of all of the great religions about about love and about understanding and about compassion and above all about forgiveness.
I was checking the odds myself uh, this morning and I realised that this left the pattern with the, uh, the large host in the sack of the Southern Hemisphere. history of the church has certainly suffered as a result of the COVID uh, restrictions and the problem of things I certainly know, know that this having an altar service, so I'm hoping that one day that will be possible once again. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let us go. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us go. The mystery of faith. 
save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit to share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I hope you all. Have a good day, and let us now ask for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit.
God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.